the last game of that event because the next day we were postponed and canceled along with the rest of sports for a while, right? And you'll notice Garrison Brooks back in that starting lineup. Obviously, he's a big part of what they do. Big coming off the bench, but first yeah. this zone. Those are the kind of things that he presents. He's a viable option. Looks had two dynamite scoring ball games a year ago. 26 at the Dome, 18 in Greensboro in the two contests. That ball got banked in. Leaky Black out front. Here's Love launching and hitting. It's huge for confidence. You're going to have to knock down shots against the zone. Caleb Love confidently shooting out of the gates. Massive. Buddy Behan gets the roll. Double like team out Bacon. front. Yep. And a long three reined in. Here's Brooks, high post on the left. And the offensive rebound for Carolina and the stick back with Garrison Brooks, Jordan. Dolzhai has some length back there, and he is alert. Both times they've tried that, it hasn't worked. Got to find a way to be more disciplined in that delivery. Bayheim got a window and knocked it down. Bayheim, he's got that confidence back. Again, off that screen. Yeah, how do you just leave him? I mean, that's a miscommunication from Black and Love. Syracuse has had to get into the bench, thus you see Braswell and Edwards in there. Here's Baycott, another offensive rebound. And an easy score for Armando Baycott's first field goal. You got to move that thing. Too much, too much standing. The ball's got to move. Got to make that defense work. Baycott. And going for the hammer and knocked out of bounds on the drive was Love. Roy Williams looking for win 475 at his alma mater tonight. North Carolina plays its 1,000th regular season game tonight. On the drive, Gary A and one. Really found confidence as a scorer, square in face. Brooks wasn't ready to guard. That's a rip through and a strong drive. Carolina's hit one of their last seven from the floor. Black for Kessler, nice pass, Brooks. Eight for Garrison Brooks on his third field goal. It's a back rim miss, and they scramble out of there with it. Here comes the orange on the run, and Buddy Beheim trying to find an alley. Kickbacks for Griffin, and a three. Cleanly through for Allen Griffin. Johnson, the freshman from Arizona, who played four minutes last Tuesday night. Brooks with a nice pass. Baycott to catch and score through traffic. Second field goal for Armando Baycott. Carolina needs to make sure that he gets as many touches as possible in a half-court setting. It's the best path to success for the Tar Heels. Down low, here's Brooks up in between a double team. Baycott the recovery and the stick back. R.J. Davis, the freshman from White Plains, New York. Here's Playtech firing from in front. Who won two straight and four of their last six. Dolajai over the top of Sharp got the roll. First points for Marek Dolajai. This is debilitating for a defense. Got to get right back down in position, try and guard for another 20 seconds. And Davis bangs home the triple. Closeouts come a little bit slower when you're tasked with having to defend after giving up the offensive rebound. Closeouts aren't there, clean looks are. Beheim turns back in traffic and scores. Okay, Buddy Beheim, that's the main target you got to have an awareness of when getting back defensively. Sharp the pass for Brooks. Walton a two. Orange trailing eight. Inside feed, nice pass. Gary A can't finish. Second chance is the charge. Carolina's taking that thing off, misses even off makes, and they are trying to run. They haven't run as much as teams in years past, but they still will do it. Now here's Griffin trying to take Brooks inside. Step back, long too good for Alan Griffin. Got more speed. He should really try to make a guy like Brooks dance on the perimeter to defend. Foul line for Brooks, and he got the roll. Nice bounce pass by Walton. Sharp through a double team scores. That's 265 on the 611 frame, Jordan. I'm trying to find more action for him to come off to look to shoot. And Garrison Brooks has announced himself. He likes this Syracuse matchup zone. History has shown it. Inside of three to go. Bayham got caught. Kolajai, Gary A, and the basket. There's Baycock, spinning, and 
Kessler follows. Wholesale line changes. Imagine your fourth big being a seven foot one blue chipper. I mean, that's what North Carolina has going here against a Syracuse team that struggles to rebound. A couple more steps, he'll be standing in Western North Carolina on the map. He's going to work. There's He's going to work, one. Wes. Yep. He's can't eat Tough. pizza for two weeks and not happy about it, apparently. Two-point game, 70 seconds left, and Beheim scores again. Got to have a green awareness. Gary A knocks it down. It's a two. Final possession of the half. Here's Brooks. Two, one, feeds Baycock, blocked at the horn, and the teams are tied at 40. One point lead. Bayhound still hot. No, Leaky Black swatted that to the empty seats. Seventh rebound for Armando Baycott. Walton bangs home the long two. Leaky Black. Walton, nice pass. Brooks had it blocked out of there. I think Griffin. On that initial thrust on the first open floor opportunity, Buddy Bayham waited too long to deliver the pass. Nice run on the baseline. Leaky Black's got his first field goal now. Long three for Black. No. Bayham. No, Wes. No, that is not the shot opportunity. And back to the basket goes Armando Baycott. If I'm Coach Williams, I'm telling my team the three-point line in this game doesn't exist. We're taking this back to the 80s when there was no three-point line. Like Griffin had it blocked. Carolina running the other way and love on the scoop and score. Richmond guard, who at times it's been dicey, makes the right decision there, and they open this one up by nine. Thanks to a 9-0 run to begin the second half. Jim Bayheim going to get Griffin set for a three. In the lane, Dolezal. Kick out, Gerard, and a three. So back-to-back -back triples. Away without points. It's a tough pill to swallow. Yep. Nice pass. Gary A. the dunk. Their last eight shots, two of their last 11. Gerard feeds Dolezal. Layup good in the orange in front. Syracuse trying to keep the momentum going and a three ball from Quincy Gary. Into the first half, right? It, it no longer feels like it's Buddy Bayheim versus the world in the second half. There's been better movement to create better looks for Syracuse, and that's why they have this slim, narrow lead. After Gerard dropped that one, RJ Davis launches and hits. Davis has got a pair of threes tonight. Long three, Playtech will run it down. Returns it to Sharp, and there's the bully ball, Jordan. Now Carolina, and a steal. Open floor for Davis. Nine-nothing run. Here's Playtech. Quick entry pass, Sharp, strong again. Can't get bored with it if you're the Tar Heels. Trying to find the crease, right, Jordan? Trying to find it, absolutely. There's Baycott. Clinical. Short corner catch. Tar Heels trying to dominate this game inside out here tonight. Brooks and Baycott have played well. Sharp heating up in the second half. And Gary A. Now he needs to get back to taking over and making plays as they now trail by six. Here is Griffin. Working through traffic. Or Gary A. Break your pardon. Syracuse has the offensive firepower to do so, though. Walton. Knocks down. Is that a two? And that got knocked away. Here's Richmond with the turnover and the score. Davis. Quick find for Baycott. Juggles. Gets it back. Goes to the basket. Last touch by the orange. Watch the defense. When Buddy, if Buddy makes a move, that defense is going to swarm. And there's going to be an open playmaker, but he gives it up. Step back. And a three from Griffin. Brooks, bounce pass. Black left it. Baycott the basket. Shot clock at three. Baycott put it up and scored as the shot clock goes off. Brooks fires it to Baycott. Here's Playtech racing to the other end. And he'll lay it in. 
three-point line, always a weapon with guys like Griffin as well. Catch and shoot, Griffin got it. What a shot by Griffin, 16 points. You know there's going to be screens here, switching stuff. Richmond going to take it in, and Braswell just lays it in. Two good friends, Roy Williams and Jim Bayham will see each other again when they meet on March the 1st. But Carolina has won three straight, five of their last seven.